Let's get some reaction from Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff of California. He's the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. How does Congress need to respond to that very dire warning from these experts on potential Democratic breakdowns in our country? Well, I think that warning is exactly right. This is a real threat to our democracy. Uh, the big lie didn't end on Election Day or thereafter. Uh, it continues to metastasize. People are using that big lie to pass these voter disenfranchisement laws around the country uh, to cut off people, particularly people of color, from being able to vote. Uh, and it was just like Governor Kasich was saying, uh, you know, the Republican response to losing is not let's change our ideas, let's change our messaging, let's try to appeal to a broader group of people. It's let's change the electorate, let's let's remove some of the voters. Uh, and that's just wrong. And, and I think it's anti-democratic. It's also, you know, the Republican Party has become the anti-truth party, continuing to push out this big lie about the last election. And our response has to be passage of H.R. 1, uh, this bill that would help roll back some of these efforts at disenfranchisement and the gerrymander and the influence of dark money uh, and restore the health of our democracy. The New York Times, as you know, is reporting that former President Trump is telling people, associates of his, he believes he'll be reinstated as president by August, this coming August. What goes through your mind, Congressman, hearing that kind of talk? Uh, you know, it's it's the kind of thing you think of in a third world country, in a uh, not in a democracy, not even an emerging democracy. And to imagine that a former president of the United States is thinking that way or talking that way, uh, it's absurd, but it's also dangerous. Uh, what's even more dangerous to me is the fact that half of the Republican voters out there think that he's still the president or still should be, that Biden lost the election, that such a significant percentage of our population could be so deceived by him uh, is alarming. Uh, and it, it, it just underscores that the threat to our democracy didn't go away when Donald Trump left office. It is very much with us. Uh, it's going to be with us for some time, uh, made worse by you know his specter hanging over 2024. But even if he doesn't run, uh, the, these forces of authoritarianism that he has re that he has essentially unleashed uh, are going to be with us for some time. And I do think it's a real wake-up call for us. Yeah, and it's also pretty dangerous out there. And I assume security will have to be beefed up if, if in fact, he continues to talk like that between now and August. Uh, uh, Michael Flynn, uh, the uh, former president's fire national security advisor, retired three-star general, a former head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, now trying to walk back his truly outrageous comments appearing to support a coup here in the United States. How dangerous is it for him to amplify this idea that's gaining popularity among conspiracy theorists, and there are plenty of them out there? Well, it's really dangerous. I mean, look, uh, there have been absurd theories about uh, a um, sex ring, a child sex ring under a pizza parlor in Washington, D.C., well, those reach people who are unwell, including one who brought a rifle to that very pizza parlor. Uh, and now you have someone who is the former national security advisor of the United States. I mean, I, you know, just think about that, the position responsibility that Mike Flynn once had. Um, and he's putting out this dangerous nonsense, this, this incendiary nonsense that some people may believe. Uh, and, you know, appealing to this QAnon crowd, that to just you know metastasize online, uh, and uh, it's it's a real threat. And of course, none of us thought this would ever happen here, but it has happened here. It did happen here. We had an insurrection here, uh, and we can't you know we can't pretend that these things are no longer possible. So um, you know we we need to uh, you know understand just how pressing this threat is, and we're going to have to protect ourselves uh, and and do a better job combating it. Congressman Schiff, thanks so much for joining us.